Good morning, Battle Songers. I'm currently at my girlfriend's house taking care of her cat. I wanted to kind of make a review of something, but I wasn't really sure what to make a review of because I haven't gotten a ton of like the newer stuff that's coming out recently. So I figured I would just make like a review of some knife that I already have. There's probably already reviews on it, but just wanted to make a video on it because I really like this trainer. Um, and I've talked about it before, but the Squid Industries, um, Squiddy AL, Aluminum Squiddy. Albert, the um, <coughs> Squaldy, you know. Also, normally I'd be recording stuff like this with my main camera. We're on the GoPro right now because my wide angle lens is like broken. The uh, camera body and the lens, well, the lens is the problem. It doesn't send autofocus information correctly. So the autofocus just doesn't really work on this. And most of my other lenses are kind of too tight to really record stuff like this. We first released these in 2023 and in August. So pretty much like exactly a year from when I'm filming this. Today is August 11th. So hopefully I get this video out pretty soon. You can see mine is first production right there. I don't know, hopefully you can read that. It says 0823. This thing is great. It's like, it's like the dad of the Squiddy lineup, you know? All the other ones are plastic and they're all missing that weight, that ability to carry momentum like this thing has. Ah, it's really bright out here. But yeah, I think this is definitely the best Squiddy, which uh, it's not really a fair comparison. God, it's so bright. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, probably the best of the Squiddy lineup. Um, it's $85. The cheapest Squiddy is like 40, which is the white one. Uh, it's probably the worst one, in my opinion, to be honest. The best are this one and the Squiddy B. But yeah, it's like, this is just like the dad of the Squiddy lineup. So much stronger, so much heftier, more durable, heavier, just better in almost every way. I love this thing. It's my favorite of the Squiddies, not only, but it's also my favorite Squid Industries trainer. Uh, I think I've said that before, but also just my favorite tr trainer in general. Um, now, am I biased? Yes. <laughs> yes and no. I am sponsored by Squid Industries, but they do just make the best trainers on the market. There's not a whole lot of other trainers that I like as much as a lot of Squid products. Um, but the Squiddy AL is something every flipper should have in their collection, you know. $85, so it's relatively cheap. It's made of channel aluminum. Great beater. I've had this for a year and it still has not developed any tap. And like, the play is like minimal. It's great. Uh, and it's on washers only. So I don't know how they managed to do that. I A year ago when I got this, I said that I'm sure it'll develop tap after a while since it's washers only, but it hasn't. To be fair, I don't beat, beat it up too much but it's had, had its fair shares of falls on concrete and other hard surfaces. So definitely very impressive still. Let's get a better look at this thing. Um, so like I said, it's channel aluminum and it's pensless, which is great so far. Um, I haven't seen anyone 
with crazy tight handle gaps. It definitely closes a little bit, uh, but it holds up pretty well. Um, it's also decently quiet, which I really like. Um, and yeah, it's just got four screws, the two pivots, and then these ones at the end of the handles, which I know you can take out. Um, I personally don't want to. I like it, how it comes, which is with more handle bias. Um, and there's also the eye weights that you can put in if you want it to be even, like, more... I don't know, blade heavy. I don't really know why you would want that. Some people like it though. It really just depends on what your style is and stuff. Yeah, there we go. Balance point, um, if that tells you anything. I think it's listed on the website that this thing is handle bias, which I agree with. Um, and I like the amount of handle bias that it is. I would say it's a very slight handle bias. But, let's be honest, calling stuff handle bias and blade bias is neutral is pretty subjective at this point. Uh, it's really hard to objectively classify that type of thing. Guys, Lucy's getting lonely. I feel bad. Hey, stay inside. Stay inside. For all of you spec nerds, uh, Overall length of 10 inches, um, closed it's five and a half. The handles are also five and a half. Um, it's on washers, as I said previously, pinsless system, 6061 aluminum, um, 3.8 ounces, and the handle thickness is 0.49. I do wish that they would also tell us how wide the handles are. Um, like, we get this dimension, but I wish we got this dimension, because that would kind of give you a reference for how square the handles are, which these are pretty square, to be honest, which I know some people will probably complain about, but uh, they're rounded pretty nicely and it feels great in the hand, so I'm not gonna complain about it. But yeah, manufacturers should put handle uh, width on their websites because that will give you an idea of how square the handles are. Um, so Lucas, you should get on that because it's not on the website. Um, maybe there's a reason they don't put it there though. I guess the whole point of a review is for you guys to decide if you want to buy this thing or not. Um, you've heard my opinion. I definitely think you should. Lucy, Lucy, get off the table, bro. I got a break. For $85, I don't really think there's any way you can go wrong with this purchase. Whether you're like a beginner just starting out and you want your first trainer, uh, Squee Ale will be great to learn on. Or, you know, if you're an advanced flipper with a decent amount of ballast arms, but you just want a nice beater that you can take and flip anywhere, it'll also be great for that. I feel like the only issue people could really have with this is, you know, if you don't like the balance or like the grip, but it's got this nice like machined finish on it uh, that makes it really grippy. I think it's like one of the Squid Industries product with the best grip because of that. And it's got it even on the blade too. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't really have much else to say about this. Um, let me know what you think about this style of review and if I should make more of them in the future and what knives I should do them on. Like I said, I haven't really gotten a whole lot of new stuff in my collection recently, but yeah, I don't know. Either way, I could always try to borrow something from someone if I don't have it. 
I think I'm gonna end it there though. Uh, if you have any feedback for this video or others you'd like to see in the future, drop something in the comments. Um, hope you guys liked it.